a short note on Gondola. In memory of Pepe, 2005 to 2015. There's a new meme becoming popular in the Anglosphere. Actually, that's a lie. It's been around for quite a while now. Uh, but regardless, there's a meme popular in the Anglosphere called Gondola. What is Gondola? It's a derivative of Sproto Sparty, with no arms or dialogue, you know, seen generally walking around in various scenes, from classic artworks to everyday life. Uh, I think they could be most easily characterized in opposition to Pepe or Sproto, both of whom are subversive in the classically ironic meme style of inappropriateness. Pepe will murder Wojak over and over, while Sproto will spout every satirizable position in a misspelled and poorly drawn way possible. As usual, everyone's worry is about how the normies will ruin Gondola. Not if it's taken for granted that Gondola will eventually become corrupted. But I disagree. It's been four years and Bane posting is still alive and very well. Relatively. Pepe is dead in the same way the Lost editors. Dead to the underground, immortalized in the mainstream. With barely a trace of its antecedent undercurrents outside the history books of Know Your Meme. The reason Bane posting lives on is its normie proof nature. Bane posters simply love it whenever a big guy reference makes it into the mainstream. This works because the Bane Post is a fundamentally aesthetic project. Unlike a loss edit whose function is technical creativity, a Bane Post must be beautiful also. As much as the Ironics hate the normies, they must accept that what's beautiful is beautiful. Gondola goes further. It's about beauty. As the child of the neo-aestheticist movement that is now ironically overused as new sincerity, Gondola is as silent as a stranger's knowing nod. The underground has earned for itself an intense self-awareness through its struggle with the mainstream for Pepe, or the spelunk into the abyss of meta-irony by the likes of Shifthostbot. At the exit of the cave, we discovered the one thing which persists through all those layers of irony. That which, what was that which attracted normies to their consumeristic corruption of Pepe in the first place? Beauty. That's it. Beauty will save our most cherished creations from corruption. In this way, Gondola is delicate, but incorruptible. An edgy gondola is just an armless spurto. Gondola is a feeling that comes from the tenderness of the heart. We might call new naivete the earnest childlike understanding that it's okay to simply feel things, happy or sad. It is a brave, self-aware vulnerability only possible for those who know the loneliness of self-deceit. Gondola is a paradigm of this post-irony. Just as Wojak's depression and Pepe's cynicism were each a paradigm of the mainstream's pre-irony in the underground's irony. It's the golden mean between the shallow narcissism of the mainstream and the desperate cynicism of the underground. From the disrupted balance between feel and frog came the death of Pepe. But we endured meta-irony's trial by fire and found hope of reconciliation. Pepe lives on through Gondola in the form of this hope. The Normies didn't kill Pepe. We did. To crash the rare Pepe market, we first had to create one. The initially ironic introduction of arbitrary factors, no less vulgar than the ownership of the unowned, became precisely the point as we hopelessly attempted to claim that ownership as a collective over a meme against the hoarding Normie masses. What began as a critique of the rigid prescriptive definition of memes fell into the very same trap of grammatical authoritarianism and swiftly became consumed by the ever-hungry mouths of the normies. And why should they not be hungry? Their diet varies little by necessity. It was only thanks to the most militant ironics who discarded their humanity, their love for beauty, that they might put off those who dare appreciate without adequate understanding. That Pepe became conceptually simplified enough to be digestible for them all. Palatability was never an issue. Thus we return to our darling at hand, 
Gondola. A gondola is entirely palatable. It is cute, interesting, and charming. It is sincere and relatable. In the earnest black eyes of a gondola, we do not find an inside joke or internet status symbol. There is no hidden agenda or political signaling. Instead, there is gratitude. For the existence of some beauty in the world they inhabit, which is something that cannot be reduced by the possibility of misunderstanding or misrepresentation. Love of beauty begets more of the same. It's the lesson from Bain posting that folk artists of the internet should take to heart. So long as we can simply love the beautiful, Gondola will live. Hello there, people and other organisms that watched this video. Thank you very much for watching this video, uh, listening all the way through to my docile tones. <coughs> um, but yeah, just, uh, I got a new microphone recently, that's, that's why I made this video and haven't uploaded for a while, simply because I haven't had anything to do or anything of good enough quality to make this type of video, so, you know, I was excited to finally be able to. Uh, that's about it. If you like the video, like it. If you don't, well, you know, dislike it. Report me. I don't, I don't care. I totally don't care. Um, and maybe subscribe to the channel if you, if you enjoy this kind of garbage. I'll, I'll, I'll make more of these. Don't you worry, babe.